it's riding the log of me jotting cart from last coming to <laughs> From March alone to Dublin town and back through County Clare. Or if only nature would command, they would never gone so far. For to use the lace of Calarney up in me Irish jotting cart. No island, no for scenery, no go far across the main. Old Ireland's on the battlefield, and deuce the best of men. For if only nature would command, they would never gone so far. To use the lace of Killarney up in me Irish jump card. And so is that other one, an Irish one. Um, and Jack was a sailor who walked London town. He met with the pusher who walked up and down. Says the pusher to Jack, now will he pass him by? Would you care for to purchase some grand bungier I ready rye? For the little I ready rye. Now he waited an hour and thought nothing strange. It's a flippin' long time now to wait on your change. So he peeped in the basket and the baby he spies. Hobby Jesus, I call it some queer bungee rye, ready rye, for oh, the diddle I ready rye. So he went to the pass and was Jack's next revenge to get the child Chris into the pass and he went. So the parson to Jack said what name it will be. I think I will call it some queer bungier I ready rye for the diddle I ready rye. <laughs> that was an Irish one. All those city lights are burning far across the deep blue sea. Where my true lovey did forsook me, he's gone across the deep blue sea. So, mother dear, please take my baby and bring her up like one of your own. They say, my dear old daddy loves me. Well, mother hung her head in shame. It comes to me when you tell me these songs. There's a lot more to that one, isn't there? Is that right? Yeah, carry on. Do you know any more? No, I don't know no more of it. What do you think about it? Oh, my clothes tied in a bundle Just to keep my baby warm Gee, it's sleep, gone again. Sleep on, sleep on. I do, I... Sleep on, sleep on, my blue-eyed baby Because your mother got no home that sing it as well. Mm. So I never took notice of that song before. One was singing Bristol, Bristol, Bonnie O, and downstairs came the lady O. What made you leave your houses and land to travel with the laddie to the gypsy O? <laughs> Just like the ivory on the old garden wall. It clings so tightly that heavens may fall. When the baby grows older, teach her to talk. When the baby grows older, love, learn her to walk. Just like the high free on the old garden wall, clings so tightly. I don't know much of it, you see. But it's an hard song when a person's dying, isn't it? You know that one, yeah. that young Leonard Glass woman? That's that another hard song. Um, let, me, let me get the first beginner. If it is a fine morning, us women will go. 
So the first man young Leonard met was a caper, were a caper of game. You caught me at the wrong time, didn't you? Mm -hmm. So he swam around those islands, and he swam back again. In that deep in false water, in the bottom he goes. So the daughter to the mother, I've had a sad dream. I dreamt my brother Leonard were drowned in the lakes of cold stream. Were there any one near him? Were there any one by? For to spare all the life of my boy, darling boy. Now there were no one near him. There were no one by. For to spare all the life of your boy, darling boy. There it's early next morning. You will see a grand sight. There'll be four and twenty Irish girls. They'll be dressed in all milk white. And they'll take him to St Giles's. And they'll lay him in cold clay. There's a Jew to young Leonard and the old marched away. All day in September, a little lad stood by the curb. He was trying to keep from crying and sprained in every nerve. Long came a paternal old policeman, says you'd better start moving along. He said, policeman, don't arrest me. I will tell you my story and song. It was just a few months ago, sir. My stepfather came home each night. He used to whip me and beat me, my mummy dear to find. Then he told me to pack my belongings and never step foot in the door. And that's why I need five pennies, sir, to get to my poor mother's side. Come with me, said the kind policeman. I will buy you some new warmer clothes. I'll see that you get to your mother, son, and take her this big red rose. So they took the first train to the little lad zone and started up to the door. On the knob of the door was a ribbon of black. He said, I've never seen that before. So come with me, said the policeman. I would buy you some new warmer clothes. Your mother have moved away from here. So come and be my little boy. Can I sleep in your barn tonight, mister? For it's cold lying out on the ground For I have a grand story to tell you I should have said sad story About my sweet loving wife and my boy I were coming home from my workshop I was whistling and singing with joy And what did I see was a letter It was placed in a room on a stand 
And on that note, said the stranger, I'm only taking your wife and your child. For it's true as the gods up in heaven only know what that strange man have done. So can I sleep in your barn tonight, mister? It's so cold lying out on the ground. For I have no tobacco, no matches, and I'm sure I won't do you no harm. A man were coming home from work one night. He found his house without a light. Then he goes upstairs to go to bed. A sudden thought came in his head. He goes into his daughter's room and there he saw her hanging from a beam. He got the knife and cut her down and on her breast these words he found. Oh, father, father, I died in shame. To bear this child without a name. So dig my grave and dig it deep. Place a marble stone in head and feet. And all you maidens bear in mind. A sailor's love is hard to find And if you find one good and true Never change the whole love for the new yes. Now I'll allow you a wager, a wager I will allow I will bet you five and twenty pounds to one that a maiden you don't go to the bunny blooming hills and a maid to come home to we again. For nine times she walked round the bottom of his head and nine times she walked around his feet. It were to let him know that his true love had been there. Yes, she'd been there, but now she is gone. Then she takes off the ring of her middle finger and she placed it on her true love, his right hand. It were to let him know if he'd had been awake she was here, but she's gone again. No, she is gone. So why didn't you waken me, my grey and faithful dog? Why hadn't you waken me before? For it's she I would have killed, and her blood I would have spilled, and all those little birds would have had their fill. As I went walking on one bright May morning, viewing the meadows taking the air, and who should I meet were a fair young maiden, and she peered to me like the rising sun. I stepped up to her, thinking to view her, not knowing me as she passed me by. So I stepped up to her, thinking to view her, 
And I says, my fellas, could you fancy I to fancy you? You're some man of honor, some man of honor you appears to be. How could you expire on a poor young woman? What is not more fitting for thy servant maid? Well, if you're not fit for to be my servant, then I have greater regards for thee. I will marry you and make you my lady and you shall have servants to wait on you oh no kind sir i have a sweetheart awaiting seven long years he's been gone from me and if he's alive, I do love him dearly. And if he's dead, he's in glory crown. And if I should wait for him seven years longer, then my true love will return to me. He said, I am your young and your single sailor. What have just returned from the raven sea? Well, if you're my young and my single sailor, Show to me that token I gave to thee. Show to me that ring that we broke between us. And that would prove to me oh, yourself sincere. He puts his hand oh, all in his pocket. His fingers, they were so long and thin. Show to her that ring that they broke between them. And down upon it, the ground she fell. He picks her up, oh, all in his bosom and gave her kisses by two and three singing i am your young and your single sailor what have just returned from the raven sea a young man sat on his mother's knee and he gripped his mother by the end, saying, Mother, I'll rise in the morning and I'll soon be able to command. Said, Son, don't think of your father who sent a leaning where his body lay low. For you means to follow after, so beware of the bunny bunch of roses, oh. When he got near old Moscow town, he was over covered by the grieving snow. And Moscow was a blazing, so he lost all his bunny bunch of roses. So the bunch of roses was the soldiers, English soldiers. Man sat on his mother's knee, 
and he gripped his mother by the end saying mother i'll rise in the morning and i'll soon be able to command she had some dumb talks of sin cause england is the art of old so from island and from scotland and the universe never have been broke so son you think of your father in St. Helena where his body lie low You means to follow after So beware of the bunny bunch A rosy's oh. oh, There once did live a servant Down Rosemary Lane Who can Will boys for her master in vain. Long came a young sailor for lodgings he came, and he said it were a haken, and his kind heart led breaking. Or he asked for a candle. For to light him to bed, love. Likewise, a soft flannel for to bind up his head. And she bound his head easy, like she often did do. In the middle of the night, the young sailor had wait, saying, jump into bed, love, you will keep yourself warm. Being like some silly girl, she thought it no harm, and she jumped in beside him for to keep herself warm. So what they done there, no tongue will not tell. And they wish that short night had been seven long years. Now if it is a girl love, she will set all at her ease. And if it is a boy love, he will plow the salt sea. With his eye, quarter boots on, check shirt and blue breeches. He will jump on the deck like his daddy's so bold. I'm a Roman Eroy, I'm a true Diddy Kai. I was born in the mansion beneath the blue sky. I live in a tent, don't pay no rent, and that's why they call me an old Diddy Kai. <laughs> <laughs> the song's about... When May. it starts raining, the first thing in May is tent rods and rich poles and all things to find. But now I've got my pony of any more day. Please give me five shillings and take him away. <laughs> I don't know no more. <laughs> <laughs> you young gentlemen's what goes a hunting. If you meet with a naked young lassie, please leave her alone. Rush, you'll have your horse and she make you walk home. So away these gentlemen went to ride in. And they met with this handsome, naked young lass. He said, what are you doing so early this morning? I'm afraid this cold morning would do you some harm. No, sir, if I had that thing, what's between your two knees, sir? 
I could bow anything, I could keep myself warm. You saw just say so I got it. Of this gentleman went, and if that's what you crave for, my dear, you shall have it. When we get to yonder's green hills, he got off of his horse and she in so I mounted and way she went galloping down the long lane. He said, one of you gentlemen lend me your horse, sir, so I may ride after her all down the long lane. She looked behind and she saw him a coming. She quick and I loaded her pistol in hand. Saying, stand back, stand back, Ross, I swear and declare, your mates is for witness you gave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fell you well, old Ireland, and Eileen too. My boat is ready, sure I'm leaving you. And where I roam to, my thoughts will guide back to Highlands grave by luxury inside. Now they were a dancing on the village green, where I met Eileen, my fair Colleen. Where I made Eileen, my fair young bride, she were my only love, thy luxury inside. Though it were in winter when the snow fell down, she fell into her true love's arms and died. Not a tear was shed for my fair young bride when they light her low by luxury inside. So fell you well, old Eileen and Eileen too. My boat is ready, sure I'm leaving you. And where I roam to, my thoughts will guide back to Highlands grave by luxury inside. Farmer's wife said, try the lad, no longer can he stand. He says he can reap, he can mow, he can plough, he can sow, he can be a farmer's boy. To plough, to sow, to reap and to mow, and to be a farmer's boy, to be a farmer's boy. So the years rolled on, and the old couple died, and they left the lad there for. He can plough, he can sow, he can reap, he can mow, he can be a farmer's boy. Oh, that's all I know. So the blacksmith courted me nine long months or better. With his hammer in his hand, he struck so clever. And he made those sparkles fly all around my middle. Now it's girls I shan't die for love, young girls believe me. For at first I won my love and he wrote me a letter. For good news is gone abroad, bad news is coming. Yes, bad news is come at last, my love is married. 
You bring your witness, my love, and I'll never deny you. For as witness I have none, only God Almighty. Cause the blacksmith courted me nine long months or better. With his hammer in his hand, he struck so clever. And he made those sparkles fly all around my middle. That was the old blacksmith. Oh, there is a little house of yonder zeal Where me and my love is to go and sit herself down But he takes another strange girl on his knee And don't you think that's a grief to me Oh, grief, oh, grief, I'll tell you for why. Because that other girl got more golden eyes. But the gold shall waste and the glitter shall fly. And nine months' time she'll be cut down like me. Oh, I'll forget the bit, some of that. I wish to God. I wish the Christ my baby were born To sit smiling on its own daddy's knee And I wished I could find that fire I were told That would ease my mind better than all the world I left my mother I've left my father, I've left my sisters and brothers too. I left my friends and my kind relations, I left them all for to roam with you. That's all I know is that song. Two little boys came out to play, to play the football swing. They tossed this ball so very, very high, and tossed it high and low. They tossed it over in the Jews' garden, where the Jews did lay down by. He's a Jew, you know that, don't yeah, you? Yeah, you, <laughs> you listen to us. Up step one of the Jews' daughters, come slowly walking down. Come over here, my fair pretty boy, and you shall have your ball. No, thank you, my fair pretty lady. My playmate is not well. Then she showed him apples and she showed him pears. And at last she ticed him in. She laid him on an old oak chest. And she gave him sugar sweets. Yes, she led him on that old oak chest. And she stabbed him like some sheep. If my mother were to pass by me, pray tell her I'm asleep. Now it's in to, <clears throat> in to the midst came a young man from England And with him he brought a small bird in a cage For to hear the birds singing they flock round in dozens to hear the sweet song of this in thrush. Now their eyes lighted up with a bright journey look when the bird sang its beautiful song. It brought back to me dear old England and home 
and temptations of my hands away. She wore a big hat with a feather and her apron strings tied to her side. Her husband wore bell-bottom trousers with five or six pearls down the side. Now he thinks he's awfully clever, but his cleverness don't worry me. I'm short and I'm dark, I can take my own part, and this is the word she did say. You bash me last night, Bill. So you bash me again. Your punches don't hurt me or cause any pain. You bash me last night, Bill, but never again. <laughs> Is that a wonderful part? Yeah. Went, she went round the corner. She w he whistled me back. He said, I've been knocking about with old Joey Black, but still I love him. Can deny him. I'll go with him wherever he goes. That's where that bit comes in, right? He bought me an handkerchief, red, white, and blue. He went in the lush can and tore it in two. But still, I love him. Can deny him. I'll go with him wherever he goes. That's <laughs> a Granny Caroline song. <laughs> now, said this young maid. What shall I do? My apron strings won't tie, no, my gown won't come to. But I, I have a little wife at home in my own country. For to sit and watch the flowers grow and hear the nightingale sing. I'll be carried to that new jail tomorrow. I'll be leaving my darling behind. But before my poor darling will suffer, my ship will be anchored and sold. So would you meet me tonight in the moonlight? Would you meet me tonight all alone? Because those cold prison bars all around me and my head on a pillow of stone. So there's that one and then there's... Um, if I was a scholar and could handle my pen one private letter <coughs> to my true love I'd send. And there upon the top riggins, I would, if I was a blackbird and could whistle and sing, I'd, I'd sleep. Follow my vessel, that my, my true love sailed in. And upon the top begins, I would build my nest. And there I would sleep on her lily white breast. Is there no farmer? And he had a handsome wife. And another man loved her just as dearly as he loved his life. And they often talked together among the barley and among the straw. So early next morning the old man he had woke, pulled a knife from his pocket, to kill that man and his wife. She said, dear husband, do forgive me. I never done the likes of this before. But it's my country fashion to play among the barley and among the straw. <laughs> I would never be like 
no silly girl not to waste my time all in play for down again those green and bushes where he thinks to meet me oh, go on again now. Well, that's it. Sing, sing it again from the from the start. Oh, I'm no false hearted lover. Will not serve me so no more. Oh, I don't know. He thinks to me. Never be like any foolish girl. Not to waste my time all in play. For it's down by those green bushes where he thinks to meet me. She went off, didn't she? Well, she yeah. thinks oh, to meet me. Do you know what? I will think about it. Now the cuckoo, she's a merry bird. She sings as she flies. And she brings us good tidings. She tells us no lies, and every time she honors Coco, the summer time is near. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, the Coco, she's a merry bird. She sings as she flies, and she brings us good tidings and tells us no lies. And every time she hollers cuckoo, the summer's nearly here. I'll never be like any schoolgirl to be looted away. All down by those green bushes where it's time to set free. Oh, I'll never be like no foolish girl to spend my time all in play. Oh, it's down by those green bushes where he thinks to me. I was just going to sit pray with the cuckoo in it, but I don't think I can. Oh, the cuckoo, she's a merry bird. She sings as she flies. She brings us good tidings and tells us no lies. And every time she hollers cuckoo, the summer time is gone near or something. Oh. <laughs> dear old father, and he had no child but me. I used to roam for pleasure just where my fancy lied. I met a handsome mistress all on my journey there. She offered me great wages to serve her for one year. Her wages I accepted as a hired man. Then she asked me if I'd marry her. No, not never be my bride. So the ring from off her finger she were he was passing by she slipped it in my pocket and for it I must die for in the court of six weeks after I got it wrong I'll wed, wed no one but Sally, your handsome chamber maid. So in the court of 
of six weeks after Sally gained the captain's bright. Do the last verse again, because we were, you were kind of... Hovering from off her finger as I were passing by She slipped it in my pocket and for it I must die For in the court of six weeks after Sally gained the captain's bride